Quinoa has been declared a superfood. It's been hyped to be one of the healthiest foods you could ever possibly eat. But does it live up to its hype, and how does it affect blood sugar? We're going to find out. Well, today is Quinoa Day, and I have my lovely wife with me, sweetie. They've missed you. You haven't been in quite a number of videos lately. I know.、Um, I miss them too, but right now I am here. So、uh, yeah, yeah, we are. We, we get、oh, here. The, you are. <laughs> we get questions. Where's Benedicta? I had the funniest email. I told you about.、Okay. Uh, I had a guy that、uh, sent me an email. Said I don't agree with your spiritual beliefs. He said he's an atheist. He、okay. said, "I don't believe with. I don't believe in your diet." He's a high starch guy, right? And yet he said, "I watch all your videos." Okay, isn't that strange? strange. And he, he listed a couple of things. He liked my calm manner, but one of the things that I think was bigger than that was, he said, "It's almost cheating to have Benedicta on there. You just can't quite、uh, stop watching when you're on there." All so, right. So, hey. You do it. Please keep watching. Keep、yeah. watching. I'm here today. <laughs> well,、uh, you're definitely an asset to this ministry, and、uh, I thank the Lord for we it. We appreciate that. So, sweetie, here's a question for you.、Okay. Let's go back in time and imagine you're a little girl in your Nigerian village, right? And you're playing outside with your friends, and Mama、mm -hmm. comes out to the doorway and calls to you and says, "Benedicta, it's supper time. Come, we're having quinoa tonight." Does that、uh, strike a chord? Can you remember your mom making quinoa at any time for you? Let me see. Mm -mm. I can't <laughs> remember a thing about quinoa. My mom never knew about quinoa. I never heard about quinoa until I watched Doctor Oz, and that was where they were talking about it. People, you know, trying to change it,、um, use it as rice instead of. Eating normal rice, right? And so, were they saying positive things about it? Yeah, they were saying positive things about it. Yeah, yeah.、Mm -hmm. Well, I've had a number of people begging me to do a quinoa test. So begging you in response to your pleading and your begging and your request. Here we are with a big yeah, the quinoa today. old pot of quinoa. Big one. And、um, you know, I was the same way. I grew up in Missouri, a long ways from Nigeria. Right, but we never had quinoa. We had meatloaf. We had uh, uh, casseroles of different kinds and macaroni and cheese, and we、Hamburgers. had beef hamburgers, beef and noodles. We never had quinoa. Oh, and here's another thing. I don't think you've ever gone to a Burger King or a fast food restaurant and said, "I'll take a burger and some quinoa, please." No,、um, maybe I should try this one this time. Hey, McDonald, I want some hamburgers, one hamburger, and then some quinoa. Or a double serving of quinoa. You know, if、double、you're really serving, feeling、yeah. like feeling living dangerously, like eating more quinoa.、So、we, yeah.、Uh, you know, again,、uh, it's not really that common, but it's becoming more common because people are health conscious. A lot、okay. of people are, and it has gained a reputation of、right. being very healthy for you. It goes、mm -hmm. back to the days of the Inca Indians in South America. Okay. And、uh, they just love quinoa, and、uh, in South America they ate it a lot. Africa, you all eat. What are your sides? You have, really have two sides that you normally eat with your African soups. Africans,、uh, Nigerians especially, love soup. I mean, you have soup all the time. We've been having. We have all kinds of soup. We've been having it the last couple of nights. It's been great. I know he's been enjoying all my soup up in here, y'all. Yeah, but the thing of it is. Uh, soup can be bad news for people with blood sugar problems because a lot of times it's made with flour. They mix in flour to thicken the soup, and then they throw in、uh, rice or noodles、mm -hmm. or potatoes in the soup. That's the American jacks soup. Jacks it up. But if you eliminate the flour, you eliminate the rice, the noodles, the potatoes,、mm. and you find a way to kind of have a thicker broth without flour. It's a great meal. Right. And you. you、um, Been serving, making this soup, and I've loved it. And yeah, I've tested I know, my. I know、blood. that in my soup. Yeah, there was there was no rice, there were no noodles, no. there was there was no flour. No.、Nope. And when I tested my blood sugar, perfection. Yeah. Absolute perfecto. That is 
a good one for my soup. I will yeah. make that soup for you. We need to make some some of Benedictus soup. Now that particular one isn't exactly African, but you do have some African soups that are also yeah, very good. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. The African problem is they never want soup alone. They want the famous what? What goes Across, with the soup? Um, what do you eat with soup? Fufu. Fufu. <laughs> I'm more of an African than she is. Oh. <laughs> She's forgotten fufu. Oh. No. You know, the, Ni I... the Nigerian police are going to come and take away all your Nigerian credentials if you f have forgotten fufu. I'm sure my Nigerians will forget, you know, <laughs> I'll forgive me for this. Please, please, please. Why would I forget fufu? Yeah. Like, we eat it all the time here. And I have really wanted so when it comes to Nigerian soup and fufu. He's one. Yeah. So well, that I've won. The problem with fufu is made out of flour. Uh, what is it called? Sem semolina? Samolina? We have all kinds. And we then, have some of them made out of semolina, samovita, pounded yam, um, yeah. fufu made out of cassava, and so many of it. Right. Can, Basically, yeah. some kind of flour or something yeah. like flour that you mix some water with, make kind of a mushy mm. play doh consistency. Mushy. And, uh, well, not too Dough. mushy. Dough. A doughy. Sometimes. Doughy is a better word. Yeah. And then you, you have a bite of soup, you, and you cannot use your spoon. You have to use your you fingers. You can use your spoon, but I do be use, an American. I, yeah, I do, but you're really not supposed but to. But as an African, you know, we, we eat with our fingers and sometimes, not all the time. If you want to be like a sophisticated lady, you just use fork and knife, fork and knife, like... Yeah, yeah. but uh, a real African would laugh at somebody using a I fork know. and knife. They we would got some vitamins on this fingers. Vitamins on the fingers that yep. you get when you eat it with the, the hand. You take your fufu, you dip it in your dip soup, it in, and you eat it. Goes. Now... Even though it has carbs, I find that by having a lower amount of the fufu, and mm -hmm. a lot of Africans, they have a mountain of fufu, but by uh -huh. I have a small amount and it works for me. I test myself afterwards and it works just fine. But we're getting off the subject here. How did you get me off the subject anyway? I don't know. Keep don't to know. your subject. Stick to the subject. All right. Let's get back to quinoa. Right. If I didn't know better, I'd call it quinoa. But it's not quinoa. So if you go to the store and you're asking the employee, where's the quinoa? He's going to look at you funny. It's mm. quinoa. K-E-E-N-W-A-H would be the, the pronunciation way, but it's not spelled that way. Okay. So I went on healthline.com. I, I just found it kind of randomly as I typed in quinoa. Right. And they listed a bunch of benefits. And by the time you get done looking at these benefits, it is crazy how good they make this quinoa seem to be. So I'm going to have Benedicta read some of the benefits, and then I'll go into a few details. Go ahead and read the first benefit. They give 11 benefits of quinoa. Well, the very first one says very nutritious. Very nutritious. It's a, a grain crop. It's grown for its edible seeds. You know, it's, it's usually used in place of rice, but it's not really rice. It's really a seed. Uh, they call it here, it's, it's not a cereal grain, they say. It's a pseudo cereal. Pseudo means fake. So it's kind of like a fake, fake cereal. cereal. It's, it's a seed. But it's got a good taste. Uh, apparently, that's what everybody says. We're going to eat it for the first time, so we don't really know. Yeah. But I'm going to take their word for it and assume it tastes pretty good. Here's a, f a fun fact you didn't know. Uh -huh. In 2013, takes right. us back a few years, back, back, the back. United Nations declared that whole year of 2013 the year, quinoa the international year? year of quinoa. Are you kidding? It was the year of quinoa. We didn't hear of this. And you and me went through the whole oh, year. Yeah. Did we buy even one, one little sack of quinoa? seed of quinoa. You one should have told me. Um, when we, I missed that somehow. When, when we celebrated New Year's Day, you should have said, My love, this is quinoa year. Quinoa year. We're going to have it every night. But you didn't say a word <laughs> because you didn't know. And I didn't know. Every night. That took me with quinoa. United Nations declared 2000. I bet most of you listening and watching didn't know either. Anyway, no. uh, it is nutritious. Read number two. Number two says contains the plant com the plant compounds. Um, when sitting, sweetie, you want to pronounce that? Yeah, it's got two words that neither of us really know how to pronounce. I know. I'll just take a guess at it: quercetin and camphorol. Yeah, uh, uh, I won't say much more, but it's got them, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah. you, maybe you're not getting enough Google camphor it. all. You know, you may feel like I'm going through a quercetin deficiency, so eat your quinoa, you'll be fine. Read number right. three. Number three, moving on. 
Very high in fiber, much higher than most grains. Okay, high in wow. fiber. Well, you know, I love things that are high in fiber because that means that fiber can be deducted. You've got less uh, net carbs, we call them. However, when I looked at the list, mm. it shows uh, for a serving, uh, 33 grams of carbs, and it lists dietary fiber as three. So that's not much different than rice. In fact, it's almost not at all different from rice. So I'm not quite okay. sure how they can say this is extremely high in fiber when- You should just according, do it well with the rice. According to this info, it's not any better than rice. Now, maybe somebody can explain that to us, but I don't get it. Yeah, because, one thing here is like, I don't think we're gonna do away with the rice altogether, although we're trying to you know, do away with a lot of carbs. No carbs, right. moments. Somebody's trying harder than somebody else, but we won't say which one of us is trying the yeah, harder. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, <laughs> which one of us trying harder. But uh, one thing I will tell you is like in Africa, where I come from, when it comes to a party, you know, we have jollof rice, we have fried rice, we have white rice, we have a lot of meat and a lot of stew, a lot of sauce, a lot of all kinds of vegetables going. Mm. And it's a party time. There is no party without rice, y'all, in Africa, mm. where I come from. So Good times, right, I don't right, know sweetie? about this one. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. You don't, if you had a party in, in Nigeria, in Lagos, and, tell and them you we're had, eating quinoa. had quinoa instead of rice, you think uh, you'd have a lot of Everybody will stand there and be like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> All right, read number four. Number four. Gluten-free and perfect for people with gluten intolerance. Right, gluten-free. Well, that's never been a big deal to me. I've, gluten has never bothered me, but if okay. it does, then this is your, this is gonna help. Read number five. Very high in protein. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. Has high protein. Number six. Has a low glycemic index, which is good for blood sugar control. Absolutely. Well, uh, obviously, lower glycemic index is better than higher. So that sounds good, but I've had some things, like we had that Ezekiel bread that bragged about having a really low glycemic, right. and it didn't seem to make much difference at all. Mm -mm. So I'm a little cynical about some of these glycemic index uh, boasts. But anyway, read number seven. Number seven says high in important minerals like iron and magnesium. Yeah, high in minerals, that's, that's, that's nice. That's good. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Has beneficial effects on metabolic health. Okay, so it, it quotes two studies. It says uh, they studied humans and rats. Well, there's a good pair for you, humans and rats. With the humans, they substituted quinoa instead of uh, breads and pastas and found that it significantly reduced blood sugar. Well, I'm all for that. Reduced insulin, that's great. Reduced triglycerides. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good. With the rats, uh, they gave them fructose by itself and then fructose with a lot of quinoa and the quinoa plus the fructose was much better and uh, better uh, than the fructose by itself. Okay. So it kind of helped. Mm. So yeah, according to this, it can help there. Okay. Number nine. Number nine says, very high in anti antioxidants. High in antioxidants. That's antioxidants. something everybody loves. Number 10. Number 10, may help you lose weight. Okay, number 11. Number 11, easy to incorporate in your diet. All right, easy. Well, I guess that means you can use it like rice, you can put it yeah. on things, you can put things on it like stew on it or soup on yeah. it or just and use it, it any kind of way. Uh, mm -hmm. By the time you read all those benefits, it makes you feel like, man, I'm sold for life. Just give I me know. quinoa, quinoa, just and more quinoa. quinoa. More quinoa, I can't wait. So, <laughs> this, this, this is a first for us because neither of us has ever tried quinoa in our no. life, to our knowledge. Mm -mm. Unless somebody slips some quinoa in some of no, my food, I didn't know it. Mm. But, uh, so we're gonna find out. Uh, right. First, we're gonna do the taste test. Now, we tested ourselves before we came on camera. Yes. And we had something unusual happen. What I was know. that? We scored the same 1990. I don't know what, yeah. why are you trying to copy me on that? We both scored 90. Now. I'll tell you something funny. Uh, I was. This was my normal day to do butter coffee or uh, bulletproof coffee. Oh no, you are not so telling. When, when she was talking about breakfast, I said, "Well, I'm just going to do butter uh, butter coffee because I want to keep my numbers no low since we're going on camera and I can beat you." Immediately, she switches into the <laughs> coffee mode, and uh, there was no more food for you. We no. haven't eaten since last night. Yep. Except for coffee. So um, I had the butter coffee. She had uh, just a, kind of a cream coffee. 
So we both scored 90. Yes. It'd be interesting to see where it goes. I want you right now to just uh, scoop some uh, some quinoa and pack that cup out as, about as tight as you can pack, pack it. Nope. It's just a little kind of way and um, good measure sh uh, press shake down the, shaking together and running, running over, over shall benedita it, give on to your bosom pack it <laughs> okay no. it's full sweet yeah, but press it down oh, press down oh, i forgot that part. and then shake it around shake it together <laughs> that's good and running over teasing. running no, over. no 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 that's too much take some of that off we don't want it we want to be the same okay there you go there, no that's yours why me first? Because ladies first, that's the rule. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're going to taste it first. You're going to have it first. Uh, if we didn't do that, uh, it would just be too weird. I'm a man Perfect. of routine. Look at that beautiful uh, bundle or mountain of I know. I should quinoa. be selling, you know, in restaurants. Any restaurant that wants to hire me, um, pay me good money. I know how to set up your quinoa. Like looking at this on the plate. At your party in Lagos, you can have every plate with a big batch of quinoa. And they uh, may, if no. they don't look at it close, they may think they're just eating some kind of rice. I'm telling you, this city is not in Nigeria. I have never seen any farmer trying to. All right, get let's see if mine going. can look Sweetie, as good. Yours is not full. It's full. What are you talking Running about? Running over, shaking. <laughs> oh, man. What look did at you that. do? <laughs> look at yours and look at mine. I know. You don't copy me too much because uh -huh. you make a lot of mistakes when you copy me. All right. Take your fork, take a bite, and Yay. you're going to tell us first how does it taste. That's the first test. How okay. does the quinoa taste? Okay, how does taste? it taste? Yeah, a bigger bite go. than that. That is so scrawny. No, sweetie, sometimes if you want to taste what you've not eaten before, you All take right. a little All bite. Right. All right, go. Right. Mmm. Oh my God. This is so good, Pass sweetie. Me my fork. Okay. You like it as well as rice? I love it. Is it nutty and crunchy? They say it's this nutty is, and crunchy. No, it's a little crunchy, like, you know, a little, not yeah. too much, but I love it. Okay. Let oh, me my, the taste is amazing. Mm. See? It's good. Very good, it's, I tell you. It's every bit as good as rice. Yeah. Maybe even a little better. Better. And, you know, you can imagine if you put some good stew... On top of this. Sauce with some, you know, yeah. meat or chicken or... It would be outstanding. Fish sauce. So it would be like... It mm, has already mm, passed... Mm, yummy. It has already passed the taste test. Yep. We're going to find Hashtag out. Hashtag pow. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Benedicta says pow. We're going to find out whether... It's going to pass the blood sugar test because I, I have to admit, I'm a little cynical about these things. You know, I look at the carbs, I look at the fiber, I say, that doesn't seem much different than rice. But we'll find out. We'll get back to you and we'll compare it to our rice test that we did some time ago and see if it's really any improvement over rice in terms of blood sugar. It may have more antioxidants. It may have more minerals. You know, that's all fine and good. But if you've got diabetes, your big issue is how much is this going to raise my blood? So if you'll excuse us, we will eat. We'll be back to you in a little bit, a couple of hours actually, because we're going to do a 30-minute, one-hour, one-and-a-half, two-hour test. Yeah. And we'll let you know what quinoa has done to us. You ready for a nice quinoa lunch, my I love? I am so ready to eat this. I love it already. So in oh, case you good. want to make it, the instruction is um, on the paper. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. See you in a little bit. Okay, we have finished our testing. Uh, we enjoyed the food, right? Yes, we enjoyed it. It was, it was really good. good. So the testing uh, had a few sort of surprises, especially for surprise, you. Surprise, surprise. So tell us your scores. We already mentioned that the pre-meal was at 90. We started out before we ate at 90. Yes. Both of us did. Yes. What happened from there? From there, um, after the pre-meal, 90 and then in 30 minutes time we tested again mine was 151 y'all that was a shocker wasn't it shocker uh, what made it more of a shocker was that mine was considerably lower than that 
I know. And I was feeling sorry for her. I was like, wow, this poor girl is, is getting really? very high numbers. I'm like, where am I going from here? Like, really? <laughs> so what? 151 is not a good number, although mm -hmm. obviously there are a lot worse numbers, but still, uh, especially for someone that's uh, not diabetic. At mm -hmm. one hour, though, what did you have? In one hour time, I was in, it was coming down, and then I was like, 139. Right. So that's still borderline high. Uh, I don't yeah. like to get it past 140, and you were right on the edge of that. Just a little. But at two hours, you had some really good news. In two hours, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? Came it? down all the way from 139, 139 to 89. 89. Boom. Wow. So you ended up at 89. You started yep. at 90. So essentially, by two hours' time, you were back where you started. Yeah, a little lower than that. Yeah, 89 is a great number. Great number for, you know, waking up in the morning. It's a great number for a post-meal test. Uh -huh. That was a two hours, though. All right, let's go to mine. Uh, right. In my case, uh, again, we mentioned the pre-meal was at 90, 30 minutes after eating. And remember, when we do these post-meal, we wait till we take our last bite, and then we start the timer. So 30 minutes after we took our last bite of food, uh, it, I was at 107. Now, that was when Benedict was at 151, so I was like, wow, right. I'm so much better than her. Mm. Strange. I was like, I can't believe that <laughs> that was going the on. The old guy beat you somehow. Beat me. <laughs> but at, <laughs> at one hour, it was totally different. At one hour, I had jumped from 107 to 180. Mm. So that was, you know, much higher than you ever yeah, scored that on that really test. Yeah, that really so... And uh, so all my elation from my 107 to 30 minutes, I'm thinking, yeah, I think this quinoa is going to work for me. Mm, mm, mm. One hour, 180. Uh, no, I guess maybe not. At two hours, I had come down uh, to 127. So I was better, but still I wasn't back to my base level. That was better than you there. Yeah, much better. So now, the interesting thing is at, uh, when we tested rice, about a year earlier than this, right. and I just, mm -hmm. I, I first I was going to retest, and I thought, well, why, why bother? It, it was just a year ago. Yeah. So after eating the white rice about a year ago when we tested, right. In one hour, you hit your peak, which was a ninety-nine. A ninety-nine with the brown rice, you peaked at one hundred seven. One hundred seven. So her her rice scores, her peaks were much better right. than with the the quinoa. And in my case, I peaked with white rice at 151. I peaked with brown rice at 141. So again, my scores with the quinoa were, were worse than with rice. Right. So it makes you wonder, what's the advantage? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> but you did like the flavor, right? I did like it. You yeah. know, I'll eat it again. I'll, you know, I like it. It's soft. Nice and sweet, yeah. and um, the flavor with the little salt in it, how we made it, it was really good. I'll eat it again, but I think we have to eat it in a smaller portion, like, you know, four, divide it into four. One portion will be like what, you know, we have to eat. Yeah. And, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, we, I guess we can't exactly give quinoa a passing grade, can we, when it comes mm. to its effect on blood sugar? Yeah, for somebody who has blood sugar, is not, you know, what you have to go for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I will come back with a few closing remarks, and we'll see you later. This little experiment demonstrates the power and the absolute necessity of testing ourselves post-meal with a blood sugar meter. If we just listened to all the hype about quinoa and never tested ourselves, we would just go blissfully walking along the garden path to metabolic destruction, assuming that anything with the reputation of quinoa absolutely must be good for us in every way. Well, quinoa may be good for you in many ways, but in the most important way, when it comes to diabetics, it is problematic to say the least. My particular diet that I espouse is not really a low-carb diet or a keto diet. It is a low-spike diet. Of course, that leads me to keep my carbs low, but what I really pay attention to are those blood sugar spikes. And in this regard, quinoa failed the test miserably. I might as well eat rice as quinoa. 
There's absolutely no benefit in terms of blood sugar spikes by substituting quinoa for rice. But better yet, I'll just keep both rice and quinoa out of my diet. Are there some things I could have done which would have reduced the blood sugar rise? Well, sure, there are, mainly two. One of them we referred to already. I could have eaten a half cup of quinoa or a quarter cup rather than a full cup, and the spike would definitely have been lower. Secondly, if I'd eaten the quinoa loaded with butter or with some kind of fatty meat and sauce over the top, all that fat would probably have blunted the blood sugar spike significantly. But the problem with that is that nearly everybody's telling us that a high-fat plus a high-carb diet is a big problem. So adding fat to a high-carb food to blunt the blood sugar spike really isn't the best idea. Better still is simply not eating it at all. My thoughts are these. If you're doing a keto diet, definitely don't eat quinoa and assume you're still doing keto. You aren't. If you've just found out your A1C score is dangerously high, the last thing you need to do is play around with quinoa. But if you do have your blood sugar under control and your A1C is in the fives or better, then you could probably get away with eating small portions of quinoa from time to time. But don't deceive yourself into thinking that this is a greatly superior food than rice in metabolic terms. If this test is any indication, it's just as bad for blood sugar, if not worse, than rice. Now, I know I say this a lot, but I can't help but emphasize it here. This test demonstrates once again that if you only do a two-hour post-meal test, you are not, I repeat, you are not getting the full picture. At two hours, my glucose was at 127. Ben's was at 89. We could both suppose that quinoa was no problem at all for us. But Ben was spiking at 151 at 30 minutes, which is a dangerous level. And I was spiking to 180 at one hour, which is worse still. You've simply got to check those peaks and see what's really happening. And a 180 at one hour is totally unacceptable for me, as I would hope it would be for most diabetics. Okay, that's it. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping this would work for me, but it clearly did not. Back to my salads and eggs and hamburger patties and chia seed pudding and strawberries on low-carb muffins and all those other foods and meals that are tried and true, which have passed the test of my blood sugar meter. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up so YouTube will recognize its value and more people will be able to see it. And consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and then click on that little bell so that you'll be notified every time we post a new video. God bless. See you again soon.